Morning, so I'm vlogging now while I can because I'm pretty sure that after this clip I'm gonna be kicked out of the house. So, you might remember that in my last video, this room, the living room, was sort of really coming together. <laughs> um, now it's really not coming together at all. It is, but temporarily it's all a mess. So, I'm having the floor sanded. As you can see, this was the colour before. It's kind of, I just really don't like it, sort of shiny and orangey. Underneath, it's just really beautiful oak. Um, but we're going to sort of stain it a fairly dark colour. Because this room is big and bright, you can really get away with it. So, the house is about to be demolished. Um, the guys are in today, over the next two, potentially three days, doing that job. That's going to go on until Wednesday. On Thursday, the other floor men arrive to do the flooring in um, this room here and the room next door and the bedroom upstairs to lay wooden floor. Um, and then on Friday, the kitchen arrives but can't go in yet because the builder doesn't start till the following Monday and even then he has to knock a wall down. But I bought the kitchen from Howden's and they have a uh, have like a, an October sale on. In order to take advantage of the October sale, I had to get it delivered on the last day of October. Actually, as it happens, they're delivering on the first day of November, which is helpful. But it does mean the kitchen has to sort of stay there for, um, I don't know, like a weekend at least, but then they're gonna knock a wall down, so it's complicated. It did save me 2,000 pounds, I think, because the sale was really good, so that's good and then I just have to sort of live with it for a while. We are probably gonna move out for a bit, I think, because the builder's gonna knock a wall down, it's gonna be junk everywhere. I have to be here to let people in and get the kitchen here and everything, and after that, I'm out, I think. So, before the floor goes down in this room, we are painting it, and how nice does it look? I mean, obviously, this is half done. That's my bed there, but this bit's done here, look. And how nice is that color up against the, uh, the wardrobe there? Very proud, very chuffed. We're doing it all ourselves, a bit of elbow grease. Here's Sarah, doing an excellent job. Um, so my brother, my mum, and a few other people, well, my brother, my mum, uh, my brother's fiance, and the baby came um, over the weekend. The my brother, the, the baby did nothing. She just wanted to go Rah! all day, it was so cute. My brother helped me do a few sort of like things, like change the hinges on doors and, Kind of just sort of DIY stuff. So I tell him that that door that he spent all day putting oh, up yeah. has been taken off its hinges. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of the things I wanted John to do the most was swap a door over because in the kitchen there's not going to be a door. But I preferred that door to the living room door, so I got John to swap them over, which I thought was really simple. But actually, had to plane loads off it. The door didn't really fit, so we had to sort of make it all work. And then <laughs> the floor men have just come and taken the door off so they can sand. So whoops. Anyway, uh, that's it. I'll keep you updated on stuff as it happens. And I think Sarah and I are gonna sort of just disappear for a bit. So I'll keep you posted in the vlog, which may have a lot of house stuff and may have a lot of life stuff. Mate, I'll, I'll move that for you. <laughs> we kind of can't get to the wardrobe stuff right now because um, the bed box is in the way. Let me move it, but hang on, let me just do this clip. Or should I watch you struggle? No, I did it. Oh, go on. Oh, so strong. Uh, so we've done two coats of all the bits that are a bit tricky. So for example, the wall behind Sarah there, um, this little bit here. We've not done this on the edges here, but we're gonna get the roller out when we get back. But I've done two coats of all this bit and it looks amazing, right? I uh, haven't done anything here yet because obviously the bed's in the way, so we're gonna have to move the bed. Um, but it's now midday. We've not had breakfast yet and I also have an appointment to keep. I have to go for a fitting. I'm not going to tell you what that fitting is yet because I'm not sure it was a secret. Basically, somebody's asked me to walk in their fashion show um, and I said yes, so I'm going in for a fitting for that. Uh, but first things first, brunch? Late lunch? No, late breakfast, early brunch? I'm not sure why I'm starving. Just had my fitting. Um, as I presumed, I can't tell you who it's for yet. But actually, the walk is next week, bless him. The guy who's designing and you know organising the whole thing um, has about 40 looks to completely construct, kind of just from his imagination. So uh, yeah, lots of work for him to do. But it looked really cool. Sarah came with me for the fitting because she had an appointment and ended up cancelling, so just came along. Uh, she said my tush looked really nice. <laughs> Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's, it's, I am the top end 
of the sizing. If I was any bigger, I couldn't get in it, but um, it actually looks really, really cool on. Um, and I found out some other people who are walking in. I'm not going to ruin the surprise, but lots of my friends are doing it as well. So, um, yeah, it's going to be really fun, really cool. It's next week, though. When I went in there, the guy who's designing it was like, we have not got long. He's doing, like, all-nighters. Um, yeah, it's going to be cool. Good afternoon. It's tomorrow now. Tomorrow being Tuesday. I started this video on a Monday. Um, I haven't been home yet. I'm back in my neck of the woods now. Uh, we stayed at Sarah's parents' place last night in London. Um, and because the floor is still wet and the, basically the guy who sanded the floor down came in this morning to do a coat of the, the finish. He's got to do another coat of it later today. And it'll be kind of usable tomorrow. So I can sort of jump around it at the top of the stairs where that floor starts i can sort of shimmy without touching it so i've swung by well i'm about to swing by the house to um finish the paintings i didn't quite get it done yesterday and also i'm working on a new project i've decided to write a short film so as you know or hopefully you know if you've been watching me for a while i've been writing things for a bit now and my first thing gets made soon i say soon it's one of those things where how long's a piece of string everything's signed off Unless there's some sort of earthquake or <laughs> natural disaster, it will be happening. It's a case of when now, which is really exciting. And I've got two or three other screenplays, one film and a couple of other like um, TV shows that I'm working on that are positive, uh, which is really exciting, obviously. But these things take so long and it's all in other people's hands. So I might start a project that is self-funded and self-done um, but that's going to have to be a short because big feature lengths take a lot of money and a lot of time a lot of expertise that i don't have so because i've sort of been writing and then sending it off and waiting to hear back you spend a lot of your time just not twiddling your thumbs because i'm busy doing all my other stuff i'm crossing the road um but kind of waiting on projects to to happen that I'm really excited about, but of course the people who are reading them read 15, 20 of these a day and don't have quite the same get up and go about my specific thing as I do, obviously. So I've decided to write my own thing um, and make my own thing, but I don't know what that is yet. So <laughs> having a real brainstorm session today. So I'm gonna get home, um, finish that wall because I didn't quite get it done. And then I'm gonna watch a bunch of shorts just to kind of get the structure and everything in my mind because I'm used to writing full length feature films and also TV shows which are not the same as a short film. So target is sub 25 minutes um, which sounds easy but actually I reckon it's gonna be a real challenge because you've got to kind of squeeze everything in uh, a whole story in a very short amount of time but that's the plan I'm up for a challenge um, I'm feeling really excited by it. Oh wow look at my floor so obviously I can't walk on this you can see that it's still wet but what a lovely colour. I think they're coming back to do one more coat of this later uh, and then tomorrow morning I should be able to walk on it but right now I've got to get around <laughs> this gap with like all the all my stuff good morning so we stayed at Sarah's parents last night again because the floor man uh, texted me saying he was coming back at 8 30 p.m. to put the last coat on and I'd been like in the bedroom the entire time painting I've got a bit of cabin fever I thought Sarah texted me, she, she was shooting and finished work. I went, should I come home now? And I was like, please no, please don't come home uh, because I've been in that one room. So uh, we stayed there last night and the floor man said it'll be dry sort of late morning. So now I've kind of had kind a of fairly leisurely start to my day. I'm actually now going to go to this pancake place because um, when we were staying at Sarah's a bit more back when kind of we were in the middle of moving house, I found this pancake place. Every time I'd gone to go there, it was closed and they do those really 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 fat fluffy ones and I'm just really intrigued by them I think it's called Fua Fua the place um, so I'm gonna go and order some of like the fluffy pancakes in the wild every time I come here it's closed I really want to try the fluffy pancakes I'm home and we have floor I'm actually walking really carefully though because the guy said get here for late morning it's now 11 o'clock which is late morning but it still smells very um, varnishy I suppose so I'm just well, I want to be sure. Oh, Sarah's not. Oh, Sarah's skidding. No, I wanted to. Are you skidding on the floor? No. You're on that bloody window. Uh, it looks good, though, right? It looks lovely. So now we're going to very carefully lift the sofa. Basically, I don't know if I showed you this in this video. We've been living. Well, our living room's been in here. So we've got our sofa in the kitchen, our footstool in the kitchen, our living room table. 
but it's coming together. The thing is, so today's Wednesday, so we've finally got this floor sorted. Tomorrow is Thursday and the floor is starting to go down in the bedrooms. Um, and then the next day is Friday, obviously, because that's how the week works, and the kitchen arrives. But the kitchen is gonna have to live in here. Don't do that, I should get my book out. <laughs> 147 things there, available in all good bookstores. Um, well, there's an Asian version. I'm not sure. Here it is. Look, I'm not sure if it's Japanese or Chinese. Actually, I think it's Chinese. It was my book was translated. Please tell us, viewers. Uh, <laughs> Best friends, translate. <laughs> anyway, what was I saying? I was saying about the kitchen. So the kitchen um, arrives on Friday, but the builder can't start his work. So knock that wall down, and make the kitchen on Monday. So the kitchen's just going to live in this room. All right, that's enough. This is not a shrine to Jin. That's why the books are put away. Why is that? Is that you? Are you the bee? These are my... No. These no, are... you're the... Put them back. <laughs> the turkey. Put them back. <laughs> we just got back from a little adventure. Uh, went to the gym. So my nearest gym, actually not my nearest gym, but the gym I've joined is a thing called F45, which if you follow my Instagram stories, you'll know about. I've talked about it a bit. Um, it's a different workout every day, class format. I think Monday... Wednesday, Friday, is that right? Are uh, cardio based, and then Tuesday, Thursday, and maybe Saturday. No, Saturday's Saturday kind of an all rounder. That's a full bonanza. That's that a full, full bonanza, but then the others are resistance. It's really good and very functional. Um, so I'm very much enjoying that. We did that, got very sweaty, then went and tried uh, a new place for lunch, which is really good. And I've come back to uh, a very exciting parcel, Coach have sent me, because it's Halloween uh, tomorrow, I think, so Coach has sent me a pumpkin with Coach written on it, and also a whole load of American candy. Let's open her up. Look at our pumpkin. On this side it has Coach, and on this side it has the Coach logo. Um, it does say as well on the, um, the, the packaging, the, the, the thing they gave us, what do you call this? Just a card, basically. Um, it says that uh, we should cook our pumpkin and uh, recycle our packaging, which we shall do. I'm not sure of any pumpkin recipes, so I've asked on Instagram stories. And then look at all the sweets. <laughs> look how, how neatly Sarah's organised them. What have you got there? Good? Not sure. I had an orange airhead and it was really good. I am exhausted and have cabin fever, so since I got back and opened up the coach thing and showed you all the, the treats, I went and took the tape off around the edges of the bedroom, which looks really good now. And there's a few little edges where um, the tape I taped slightly, slightly dodgily, so then I had to go over it again with, um, with my brush. Uh, so that looks great. I then went and cleared all three bedrooms because the wooden floor men are coming tomorrow. Um, so those rooms are now clear and they had so much junk in them. But, in fact, you know what, I'm gonna show you. Um, so, when the floor goes down, my plan is to get them to do the spare room first, right? Because this is the spare room, <laughs> this room here. I'll get them to do this room first because this room is now empty and it means I've got the bathroom through here which is just full of junk. Most of this junk actually is the bed for the spare room. It's all kind of in here, look, in the shower area. So I can then make that bed, and Sarah and I then have somewhere to sleep while the builders then, or the floor men then do the office. I'm out of breath when I go upstairs. So then the office, which is now empty too, which is looking great by the way. I've got some artwork up on here, some artwork here. I've got this going on here. I can then get the sofa bed, which is this leather guy uh, in between the mattress and the boxes here. I can then get that in that room, which then clears this bathroom, so the bathroom can get done by the builder who starts the following week. And then they'll do upstairs. That's it. Uh, I'm exhausted. I've also gone a bit stir crazy from being in this house too long. So thank you very much for watching. And I will see you. I'll start another vlog tomorrow, but I'm going to end this one now um, because I feel like this has been action packed and then it all kicks off again tomorrow. So see you soon. Bye.